Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crispy filo pastry samosas. They are a perfect substitute for uh, fried samosas as these are baked. As always the complete written recipe can be found on my blog hungryforgoodies.com and before starting please do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to always be updated and let's get started. So I'm starting off with preparing the ingredients for the filling of the samosa. Here I'm slicing some spring onions. Then I'm also going to uh, mash some boiled potatoes. Next I'm shredding a boiled chicken breast. Once I've done prepping all my ingredients, I'm going to heat some oil in a pan and then I'm going to add in the shredded chicken. Next, I'm going to add some boiled green peas and mixing everything well together. For taste, I'm adding some salt. You can add as much as you like. For the seasoning, I'm adding some turmeric powder, red chili powder, some garam masala, and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm stirring everything well together so that everything mix up, all the spices mix up. And then I'm also going to add some freshly ground black pepper. I'm also going to add some crushed coriander seeds, the spring onion that I sliced earlier, and the mashed potato. Then I'm going to mix everything well together so that everything is well combined. Before proceeding, just check if the salt is alright. I tasted mine and it's alright, so I'm going on ahead. Then I'm taking one sheet of filo pastry and placing that on a clean surface and spreading on top of that some oil. I'm using a regular sunflower oil, any other vegetable oil will work just fine. Um, I'm going to repeat this process three times, so basically I'm using three sheets of filo pastry and I'm going to spread on it some oil. Uh, don't worry if your pastry is stirred in some part because it will still work fine. So once I've spread the oil over the filo pastry, I'm going to cut this into uh, 7 to 8 centimeter large strips. Once I've done that, I'm going to place a tablespoon or so of the filling on the top part of the strip. And then I'm going to fold this in half like a triangle and I'm going to continue folding this downward just like you see here. I'm going to repeat this process with the rest of the strips. Once all the triangles are done, I'm going to place them on a baking tray lined with parchment paper and I'm going to spread on top of them some more oil just to make them even more crispier. Then I'm going to pop them in a preheated oven for about 5-7 to seven minutes or until they're golden brown. Just make sure they don't burn because they're gonna cook really easily. Then I'm going to remove them from the, uh, from the oven and I'm going to flip them over. So that the bottom side of the samosas are going to be golden brown as well. Once I've done that, I'm going to put them back in the oven and give another 5 to 7 minutes or until they're golden brown. And here you have it, your filo pasty samosas are done. You can serve them with a sweet chili sauce or with any chutneys that you like. And as you can see, they're very flaky and very crispy and they taste amazing. If you want me to make more videos like this, please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!